Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In case you're new here, my name is Lorena and I love to share my recipes with you. And if you've been here before, then hello again. Today we're going to make a flatbread from scratch and then we're going to add some delicious toppings. I really like this recipe because the flatbread you can use for lots of stuff. You can do sandwiches with them because it's a, like a pita bread without a pocket inside. You can even make a flatbread breakfast with uh, eggs, avocado, tomato, whatever you like. We're going to make the dough from scratch and as it's proofing on the side, we're going to take care of the toppings. As always, if you want to see the full recipe, then all you need to do is click on the link in the description box below or on the eye above me and that will take you to the blog where you will find lots more recipes. Also remember that if you like this video, you can always put thumbs up to it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already. I'm now going to make this flatbread so if you want to see how it's done, then keep on watching this video. Here I have all the ingredients that I need for my plant bread. So in here I have the flour, a bit of sugar, salt and the instant or active yeast. I also have here some olive oil and some lukewarm water. If you want to know what lukewarm water feels like, you must feel like it's a tiny bit warm. That means that it's higher than your body temperature and it should be about 43 degrees. So now because I'm using instant or active yeast, I don't need to mix the yeast with the water on the side and the sugar and let it um, feed itself before putting it on top of the dough. We just have to mix everything in. So I just make a hole in my dry ingredients and add the lukewarm water and also the olive oil. And so we mix it in with a spatula until we can't anymore and then we go in with our hands. Once it's all nicely mixed in, we put it on a clean surface and then you add a bit of flour at a time until it doesn't stick to your hands. It should take about 2 or 3 tablespoons extra flour. Okay, so I've kneaded my dough until it doesn't stick to my hands, adding a bit of flour at a time. Now it's going to rest for an hour, covered here, and I'm going to drench it in olive oil just to make sure that it doesn't stick to my bowl. some cherry tomatoes in half. I also have some red onion, which I think is lovely for this. We have some garlic here that we're going to grate. I actually keep it like this in the fridge, so it's covered with olive oil and it's so much easier than to preserve them. They last a lot longer and then you get a lovely olive oil with a garlic scent. We're also going to chop up some uh, rosemary to go inside, which I love, I love rosemary. And it goes really good with flatbread. So we just remove the rosemary leaves and then we're going to chop them up. That rosemary goes on top of our other vegetables that we had prepared before. We're also going to grate some garlic on top, add some olive oil, salt and pepper and mix it all in. So this is going to now go into the oven at 180 degrees Celsius for about 20 minutes or until you see that the onions have gone really nice and soft and the tomatoes have also let loose of their juices. Another important part of our flatbread is going to be the cheese. So we're going to use a mix of ricotta cheese which I've got here. Uh, so also some parmesan cheese, I'm using Grana Padano, so it's important that you have a really nice cheese. Hopefully not the pre-grated one because that one will uh, melt differently. And I also have here some mozzarella cheese. So I'm going to grate the parmesan and the mozzarella cheese down the finest uh, side of the grater. Okay, so I already have my vegetables ready and my cheese grated. And I also have some olives here that I cut into rings. My dough has now doubled its size. It looks really, really pretty. And I'm going to spread it out in a rustic way just because I love how it looks. 
Of course, you can also use a rolling pin on top of a dusted surface with flour, but I really like to stretch it out with my hands and I love how rustic it looks. On top of this, I'm going to put my mozzarella and parmesan cheese. I mix them up beforehand. And then also little dollops of the ricotta cheese spread around. Try not to make them too large because then it will moisten the dough beneath them. And then we just arranged the rest of our toppings, the tomatoes, the onions and also the olives that I cut previously. This then goes into a preheated oven at 200 degrees Celsius for about 15 minutes or until you see that it's really nice and golden, like this. And now I like to cut it up into pieces so that everyone can grab some. That was my flatbread recipe, I really hope you liked it. If you did like it, don't forget to put thumbs up to this video, it makes me really, really happy. Also, if you make this recipe or any other recipe from the blog, please send a picture to me because I really love to see what you cook. And if there's anything that you would like me to teach you how to make, whether it's savory or sweet, you can leave a comment below. I'm posting videos every Thursday and Sunday, so if you don't want to miss any of them, then I recommend that you subscribe to my channel. It's free and only one click away. You can also follow me on Instagram, Pinterest and Facebook as Cravings Journal. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you next time.